In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. With and you. with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to celebrate this Mass worthily, let us now call to mind our sins and ask God for mercy and pardon. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, author of our freedom and of our salvation, listen to the voice of our pleading and grant that those you have redeemed by the shedding of your son's blood may have life through you and under your protection rejoice forever on harm. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Paul came to Antioch in Pisidia, he said in the synagogue, My brothers, children of the family of Abraham, and those others among you who are God-fearing, to us this word of salvation has been sent. The inhabitants of Jerusalem and their leaders failed to recognize him. And by condemning him, they fulfilled the oracles of the prophets that are read Sabbath after Sabbath. For even though they found no grounds for a death sentence, they asked Pilate to have him put to death. And when they had accomplished all that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and placed him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who had come up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem. These are now his witnesses before the people. We ourselves are proclaiming this good news to you, that what God promised our fathers, he has brought to fulfillment for us, <coughs> their children." By raising up Jesus, as it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial psalm responds, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You, you are, are my, my son, son, this day I have begotten you. you. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son, this day I have begotten you. You are my son, this day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for an inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod, you shall shatter them like an earthen dish. You, you are, are my, my son, son. on this, this day, day I have begotten you. And now, O kings, give heed. Take warning, you are rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice before him with trembling rejoice. You, you are, are my, my son, son this day, day I have begotten you. Your blessings, Father. May Almighty God bless your hearts and your lips that we may worthily proclaim his words in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am you also may be. Where I am going you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. So my favorite getting lost story, some of you might have heard this before, was um, in the catacombs in Rome a number of years ago. And I had gone over there from a hotel early in the morning. I was just all, all by myself, and it was raining. And it was 7.30, and the, the, um, there was nobody there at the window, but the door was open to leading downstairs. So I went ahead and went downstairs into this big, huge room underneath the ground. And there was nobody in there. So I was kind of tooling around looking at things, and I saw the passageway of the catacombs back out. Now, these catacombs go for miles and miles and miles uh, through, through Rome. This is where the Christians were buried and the Romans were cremated up top. And so I started in there and I finally came to a, to a decision I had to make whether to go right or left. So I decided to take a left. I went down further and I had to either take a right or a left or go straight. I decided I'd take another left. I figured if I took enough lefts, I'd get back to where I was. Well, after a while that didn't work. <laughs> but I knew then, though, if I kept taking a right and a right, and a right, I'd lead back right to where I was. And about 30 minutes later, I was still walking around the catacombs trying to find my way out. And I was starting to get very, very scared. And I was hyperventilating. I was breathing hard. And I was starting to yell. Well, eventually I heard a voice, a small, faint voice. And I listened, and then I started yelling. The voice started yelling and went back and forth and back and forth. So finally, this woman found me and she brought me to her. And she led me out of the catacombs. She was obviously very, very upset that I was there by myself. But you know, that's how most of us live our lives. We have these myriad of decisions every day. Are we going to go this way? Are we going to go that way? And we make these decisions throughout the day. And so much of the time, they're haphazard decisions. Uh, sometimes they're, ba they're based on faith. Some, most of the time, they're just based on just everyday things that, that go on. And, and as we go throughout life, making these decisions right and left, if Jesus is not our guide, we get lost. And so many of us get lost. I know I've been lost. And we get lost because we're not looking towards our Lord. We're trying to figure this out ourselves. And we keep making these decisions and going this way and going that way. And just like I was in the catacombs, we get lost. Until we finally start yelling like I did. And we yell for God to help us because we know we're lost. We know we're not going in the right direction. We, we know the things that are happening shouldn't be happening. We know we're doing things we should not be doing. And we start screaming and we start hollering for God to help us. Now, I don't know if God helped me get out of the catacombs that night or that day, that morning. Um, I like to think he did, but it was the woman that, that heard my voice and, um, and got me out. And Jesus tells us, I am the way. There is no other way. I am the way. 
And it's only through Jesus that we can get ourselves out of this rat race, this, this catacombs of the world. The only way we can get out is through Jesus. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Whoever follows me will come to God. My brothers and sisters, let us now offer our petitions to God our Father. For our church during this Easter season, that it may reach out to all who walk in the valley of darkness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, for healing for all those who are suffering from it, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all volunteers and workers who are fighting to free us from this pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our young people, that they may see the risen Lord as a way to peace and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in St. Jude's Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for our Mass intentions today, for Father Joel, the repose of the soul of Simon Tran, and for Father Abraham, the repose of the souls of Jane Church, Don Ship, Teresa Anselmo, and Hermilio de Luna, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, you guide us along the right path. Comfort us by granting these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands is to become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness who have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it should become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we will be accepted by you, O Lord, and our sacrifice in your sight this day we present to you, Lord God. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of us, Holy Church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care, they may never lose what they have received, but attend the gift that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took breath and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this, this bread, bread and drink, drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church but throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That is the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. <clears throat> we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against, against, against us. And lead, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us, us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I'm not worthy you should enter under my roof. 
but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord in your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.